see Tommy, that's all I see. He's right there. Welcome to the Ohio leg of this year's Buck in the Truck Tour. I'm obviously out in a tree right now. We've been hunting Virginia and Pennsylvania hard, but next up is the Buckeye State. So there's going to be a handful of us going out, and we're going to have the same format as we had last year, where we're going to go day by day. Um, we'll just bring you the action as it happens. So it might be a little bouncing around. So we're going to pack it up, Let's head to the Buckeye State. <laughs> Screaming elk in the background, I love it. That's a look at Good morning from Ohio. Day one for Austin and I. I am set up in the spot that I missed a buck back in 2021. Probably about 100 yards down that direction. I'm set up with the creek 20 yards behind me and a pretty steep rise in the terrain. My thermals and wind are going back towards the, the creek this morning. So I thought I'd come in. It's kind of a natural pinch. And we have some cameras. Austin and I have some cameras up in here I want to check. Those are really good scrapes coming in. Um, I'll probably sit till late morning and get down, scout around, check the cameras, and then decide from there where I go from the evening. It's the morning of November the 8th. First morning of the Buck in the Truck Tour 2023. Well, first morning for Andrew and I. Um, got up here on the ridge spot. Um, it is a brisk morning. It was calling for the 40s, but it's definitely in the 30s. Um, just going to sit all day. I uh, had a trail camera up here. Got a couple good buck on it. Um, definitely a cruising spot. Should get better as the week goes on. Uh, just going to put the time in and see what comes by. But never know what's going to happen in the rut. This is the first sit of the 2023 Buck in the Truck Tour. This is our ninth year coming out here. I'm super excited. There were some fresh scrapes on the ground. Looks like it did a few years ago when I got a nice buck in here. So I'm beyond excited for what's going to happen over the next few days. So I heard on a podcast that the rut stash ups your odds by 38.47%. So this year, we're trying out the rut stash, and we are going to see if it works. It was a neat little sighting for the first first deer sighting of the, the trip. We made a scrape over about 31 yards. Hopefully uh, the next buck is 
about two or three years older at least. Alright, it is the beginning of morning two for Austin and I. Um, I have no idea what day it is for everyone else. But I'm set up on a transition line. Down here, this huge creek flat that's super thick. Good bedding. And then it starts to rise, and then there's a bench system. Right, there's a bench right here that kind of wraps around. And it's a western wind. So my thought process is my wind is going uphill. They're going to wrap along the edge of this bedding area and just scent check the whole ridge or the whole, the whole flat. This is a spot I'm really excited about, so I'm probably going to spend the majority of my trip in here. I'm out here on a small little one-acre CRP field. morning of November the 9th, uh, raining this morning, a little bit more than I expected, but per usual out here. Uh, excited for today, dropping temperatures all day, good wind direction, got a scrape right down here behind me that I'm hoping they'll want to freshen up after this rain. Um, had a chase behind me yesterday morning, had um, a little fork come by at two, um, and then heard something and saw a body back behind me in the thick. So. Hopefully something's going to be moving through. Check the trail camera. Had some last week in daylight. Some good shooters. So looking forward to today. Mark. And just smoked a big one so I'm getting down and I'm gonna pack it up I'm gonna leave my set but I'm packing it up and I'm getting out of here and I'm gonna go help him Austin and I are heading in we're gonna go track this buck and uh, 
hopefully we have a really quick recovery and then we're gonna get him out of here. Yeah, but it still is coated and looks good. You can easily follow this one. No doubt about that one. Austin. What? You see him? He's right there. He just barely got over over that hump. Over that hump. <clears throat> oh my word. The exit was out of his leg. I was a little well. Holy time, man. Look at the bases on that sucker. Like, <laughs> I was a little low, but the entrance is high. <laughs> so like bulging out. That is a giant. Dude, that bright beam is ridiculously long. Yeah. This is one I want good pictures of. Yeah, it is. Man. I can't believe it. Yeah, that is. <laughs> this is an old deer. <laughs> yeah. Dude, look at that sucker. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Sorry, Ken's, we're getting a shoulder mount. <laughs> Came into the ridge spot this morning. Uh, pouring rain, got soaked. Uh, kind of miserable there for a little bit, but Knew there was a fresh scrape next to me, knew it's a good rut spot. Um, yeah, I don't even know what time around, I'm guessing around 10 o'clock, I don't remember. Just hear something 50 yards away, grab the bow, and it's this guy cruising right on through. Um, stopped in the opening, was able to get my GoPro on, so I at least have that footage. But um, stopped in the opening and smoked him. And he made it, I don't know, 70, 80 yards. Uh, the wrong way for the drag out, but uh, well worth it. Uh, bye far my best buck to date kind of a chocolate rack nine point couldn't be happier man the rut never know what's going to happen today good things happened yeah buddy he's thick thicker than thick yeah like just for comparison like on these bases like that is that is thick. <laughs> we got ourselves a buck in the truck. And it is a hammer. We got Austin's buck taken care of back to camp. So I'm set up a couple hundred yards from this morning. I pulled a couple cameras. And uh, yesterday, there was two daylight shooters. About a hundred yards from here. So, I really like this spot. It's a trail intersection. There's trails going every direction. I'm set up here on a trawl that comes off of the CRP field. 
this is a new spot that Dawson and I scouted together. Coming in here, he's just over the ridge that way, probably 250 yards. I get another little CRP field. He said there's rubs and scrapes everywhere in there. Um, I don't see as many rubs right here, but I bumped a doe coming in. Alright, it is the morning of day three. I'm set up where I was last evening, and all I saw was a two-year-old kind of skirting through the brush. So I haven't seen any deer this morning yet. Um, I'm about halfway through my trip, which makes it a really good time just to kind of step back and kind of pause for a moment mentally. Um, we just spend so much time and focus thinking about big bucks. And when you're hunting day after day, you're just out grinding, thinking about big bucks, big bucks. And I'm just reflecting on the first couple days here and it's it's been pretty awesome uh, making some memories and spending time out in God's creation. So. That to me is what ultimately is about, yeah, we want to shoot big bucks, um, but really at the end of the day, at the end of the trip, that's not the most important thing. So I just want to encourage you, if you're out here grinding, 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 think about big bucks, just to take a step back and pause for a moment and uh, just reprioritize and take a, take a mental break and get refreshed. Happy Veterans Day. I'm set up in the same spot I was last evening. There's just a series of trails coming out of a bedding area that's at least 20 acres. So. Well, boys, it's the last full day in Ohio. The weather's perfect. It's been a really slow trip for me. Tough one. I haven't seen many deer. <clears throat> seen a lot of hunters where I've never seen them before. Back in deep. In some of the areas I've hunted for a long time. <laughs> but this weather is perfect this morning. And I decided to go up in Austin's stand where he shot his really nice buck. Just a few days ago.
it's about noon. I have not seen a single deer. But I'm getting text messages from some of the other guys in the group that they're seeing them, so, and seeing some pretty good ones. So, we're just going to uh, sit tight and hopefully something happens here this afternoon. Austin's coming in, he's going to sit with me and become the camera guy. So, at least this set should be a little more uh, entertaining for me to not be all by myself. The sun is setting, but we're going to give it one last Hail Mary and try to rattle. I don't have high expectations, but sometimes you got to just send it. So here we go. trip. It was a lot of fun. It always is. There's nothing like hunting with a bunch of guys for an extended period of time. Just a great balance of introverted time and extroverted time back at camp, sharing stories, hanging out, catching up. It was a hard year in that I didn't see as many deer as usual and I always hope for one opportunity to at least draw my bow back which didn't happen this year, but still just some awesome time out here. I'll be looking forward to next year. I think Andrew and Austin still have one more sit. Hopefully Andrew can get one tomorrow morning. But you gotta love this view to end the trip. Can't beat that. All right, it is the last day, day five. It's the fourth quarter. The two minute warning is coming up. I got a three hour set and then that's it. We're backing it up and heading home. I'm set up in the tree that Austin was in on Thursday and killed that, that good buck right out in front here. Josh sat this stand yesterday and saw a bunch of little bucks. So, figured, uh, we laid a lot of scent down, and there's blood here, but it's just a terrain feature that makes sense. So I'm going to give it a three-hour sit, and then uh, we're going to pack it up and head home.
All right, that is going to end the morning hunt. Just a, a doe and a really small buck. Um, and that also wraps up our trip. I had personally had a little bit of a slower hunt this year, but I saw some small bucks, just nothing that really got me excited, which, um, which is why I didn't shoot any of them. Unfortunately, the rut stash did not work this time for me. But I think we'll try it again in the future. We appreciate you guys following along. Good luck in the woods, and we'll catch you on the next one.